Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I already took the cover off. I forgot to uh, start the video and I already got the uh, screws out of the uh, control unit board here. So I'm just going to undo these. Um, and we'll take a look. I think we're going to have to... Uh, my dad actually wanted to change out the battery. So that's not a problem. We'll go ahead and do that. And... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of some of the flux uh, that I know is gonna be on this board um, yeah see it has a little bit on that um, so we'll go ahead and clean this thing up uh, we're gonna go ahead and change out the uh, the capacitors as well on this board uh, all the electrolytics uh, there's not too many of them um, I actually have you know the ones that uh, need to be replaced um, so yeah we're gonna do these uh, capacitors um, anything I did voltage or voltage at least 16 volts um, or the highest I could go on some of these that was a 25 volt now we're at a 50 hey I wanted to go over some I'm going in through and uh, you know getting the cap set up here I still have the legs I haven't soldered in yet but I wanted to do the importance of uh, defluxing, if I can get this thing to focus a little bit. But uh, you'll see here, there are some open uh, connections here. See where I defluxed? A couple here, 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 here. There's holes right in there, little pock marks. Uh, another one there. This one's really not soldered at all. Um, there we go. There's a little better focus. But uh, yeah, you'll see there's some openings here after we uh, ran through some defluxing. And you'll see some open, open ports, open holes here that I'm not happy about. So I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, electrolytic capacitor upgrade. Um, and uh, I'm going to start reflowing this, but it also gets me concerned with the other boards in this unit. We have the uh, board cleaned up a lot more than what it was. We got all the flux off of it. Uh, we we uh, flowed all the ones that uh, had little connection issues or, well, they still were connecting. But, uh, you know, when things heat up and things age like that, that uh, connection is never good uh, for it to... Uh, a nice place for it to fail and sometimes it's very hard for that component to be found because it's just making contact and looks like it's connected but uh, yeah I've had that many times where you reflow something and it actually fixes whatever problem you were looking for because it's just, one of the components is not making a good connection but you can't really tell so the best way to do is yeah just go ahead and reflow all the ones that uh, look like they have some issues and uh, you know, may not be the best job, but uh, yeah, we went ahead and added the battery. So uh, I actually put it right on the board itself. As you can see, it's uh, real nice to uh, be on surface mount. Uh, double stick worked, um, and yeah, so I went ahead and reversed the uh, colors there. So negative and positive are, are more uh, more well known, but it's, it's still not necessary uh, because this thing I could have probably just put a straight wire. Um, without any insulation but I always like to try and do that just in case the case and shorts um, will have everything uh, you know done so yeah this one's done but it gives me a kind of curiosity about the other boards that are in this unit so I may pull out the other boards and take a look at them see what the situation with flux is and if there's any um, of those connections there that could be a point of failure in the future or are a point of failure and uh, we just don't know yet because this radio hasn't been powered up in quite some time but anyway we have the radio rolling in the background we have a little DX in there so uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, pull apart the other board and take a look at it and uh, see what happens there there's the another board here this is the X15 uh, 1900-10 board um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this and yeah we have the same issue with the flux all over this and we also have the electrolytic capacitors I'm going to go ahead and change out but yeah we'll clean up that board and uh, see if we have to reflow some which it does look kind of messy kind of sloppy um, 
So shoot, we'll go ahead and reflow some of this stuff. So we have all the uh, capacitors changed out in this one. And uh, yeah, you can see the difference there. So we got this uh, radio pretty much done. Um, this is the bottom side here. So we already did all the caps, got everything nice and tight up here. Um, cleaned off both sides of the board uh, these individual boards and uh, recapped reassembled looks a lot cleaner and nice and we'll do the same on the other side we'll take a look and see what's going on there all right yep same thing with this one so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, all cleaned up and uh, all full together so uh, we'll get this all clean and recapped um, because yeah, there's a lot of caps on this one, so we'll get this one taken care of. So, that's took a minute for us to get back to doing this, but uh, yeah, we got this one uh, cleaned up flux. And this one had a ton more caps on it here. Capacitor, electrolyticus uh, have all been replaced um, all the way through. And... Yeah, it was a it was a whole bunch. So basically, it's all those and the trimmings I have on there. This is uh, all back together now, and uh, this was pretty fun. It was fun to be able to get into this radio. Um, and what was really nice about this is it had all removable connections and these were modular pieces um, so it was really easy to work on uh, dad just to let you know this was the of course the original cable here uh, real rough shape um, I've upgraded that uh, completely here with the um, with the nice shrink wrap here um, and the uh, fuse tip here we're gonna go ahead and power this up you notice that uh, scratchy knob is gone now. And uh, let's see here, we'll open up the squelch. All right, so um, we're on low power here. And uh, there we go, we're about uh, walkie talkie. We're about four, four or so watts right there on low power. And uh, on high, high power up here, we are at uh, about 43. Uh, so that's pretty good for this radio here. Um, so we did do all the caps and everything. And it was a real treat to be able to do this for my father here, get him upgraded, at least get this radio up to snuff as much as we can. Um, except, uh, as I mentioned before, it was the... Uh, TU-79 board here by Kenwood uh, so this is the board here and I, th I think I said it was uh, done with a um, uh, six-bit matrix of something like that so this is basically what this is um, this is the unit that's supposed to go in there but uh, <clears throat> So this is the uh, this is actually a board layout of this, so it'll let you see exactly what it is, um, and that's a connector that'll pigtail into the radio. But you'll see it has F1, F2, F3, and you'll see number one through six between each of these. Um, and you look at these, um, it basically it's diodes. It's the uh, 1S uh, 1555 diode. Um, so there's three sets of those of six each and what you basically do to get tones and you only get three tones <clears throat> is that all of these um, are basically on this uh, from when this was in shoot I don't know when this was actually made but I mean exactly around this time of this radio in the early 80s so that's a diode so basically what you do to each one of these is you either clip uh, you cut the diode or the diode remains mounted to be able to get your tones right there uh, hopefully that's in focus a little bit um, but yeah so there's all your tones there and then there's uh, one two three four five six right there and then down 
five uh, and then you basically to know which tone uh, number you're going to get you either get that uh, resistor all so if you wanted 67 hertz you'd cut all the resistor uh, diodes and that would work for either f1 2 or 3 so you'd basically just clip the diodes so it's not programmable through the keypad and I can't get to this unit um, for $79 they offer it online but I do have the schematic here and another um, other option but uh, at least for everything we can do for this radio for right now um, we have completed it we've done the recap we've done the cleanup we got a new power cord so my old man should be pretty happy so far with this but uh, yeah since we don't have the tone board um, just kind of reg uh, kind of limited to uh, simplex really so um, great unit at least for now so uh, this is where this one will stop until I can get something going with that uh, tone board alright thank you see y'all